I'm Jason Povelmacher with Tormac. I'm a machinist here on the technical department. Uh, today we're going to talk about CRN coated end mills from our performance line. The ideal uses for these end mills would be any non-ferrous, soft or gummy materials that's sticky. Uh, so aluminum, copper, plastics works well, um, any, any soft gummy material. So in addition to the coating, this tool features deep uh, chip relief pockets, which is going to allow for a more aggressive feed rate as well in the soft materials. When you're cutting aluminum, you need a real deep chip clearance pocket to get the chips evacuated from the part while you're machining. In this cutting demonstration, we used the 3 8 3 fluid end mill. We ran this at 5,000 RPM, which is 490 surface footage at 35 inches a minute, which works out to right around a 2,000th per tooth chip load. When I say chip load, what I mean is every time one of the flutes comes around and makes a full revolution, it's removing 2,000 worth of material. Um, we use this to calculate our feed rate. So on a 3 8 mill, a 2,000 chip load works well because it's an aggressive enough feed rate where you get a good material removal rate, but it also leaves a nice surface finish for a finished part. So you could use it for roughing or a finishing feed rate. The depth of cut on this was three quarters of an inch, or which works out to be two times diameter, and our step over was 50 thousandths of an inch. Um, so when we do all the math on that, it works out to a 1.3 cubic inch per minute metal removal rate, which is a, is a very nice removal rate for these machines. I like to do big depths of cut when you're roughing, because then you don't wear the tool out on the bottom, and then when you come back to finish, if you're gonna use the same tool for finishing as roughing, and say you rough with the bottom 100 thou, and you run it for 40 minutes, that bottom of the tool is gonna to be worn a little bit, so then when you come back to finish, you'll see that line in the finished part. So that's why I like to take a deep depth of cut with, with the end mill while you're roughing, and turn the step over down a little bit, so then you can achieve the same material removal rates as you can taking a light depth of cut at a faster feed rate, but by taking a deep depth of cut, you're using the whole tool, wearing out the entire thing. And when you come back to take a finish pass with the same tool, you don't see a witness mark in the finished surface. If you search our website, you'll find some recommended speeds and feeds for our cutting tools.